good morning students of class 12 you are all aware of the tough situation we are going through but due to the situation we will not waste our precious time and start with our biology lessons of class 12 the first chapter which we will be dealing with is evolution this is a very big chapter so we will be continuing in parts so this is part 1 origin of life so let's get started children before we start with the actual chapter of evolution let us first go through some of the basic points which our scientist have given based on certain experiments done that what was the year or the time when universe earth or life originated so the first one is universe was formed about 20 billion years ago earth was formed nearly 4.5 billion year, years ago and life originated about 4 billion years ago now you might be thinking that how did these uh, scientists come across all these uh, data it was actually there are several methods which are uh, performed by our scientists like carbon dating and all these uh, experiments are done to find out these years when our universe earth or life originated okay scientists also told about the conditions on earth which was prevailing at that time during the time of origin they were high temperatures the earth was very very hot that time it was not a very pleasant weather that time the lighter elements formed the gases like the gases which were present at that time were methane ammonia hydrogen helium all these gases were present and water which was present was in the form of vapor why in the form of vapor water was present because of this high temperature water did not exist in liquid form that time it was as water vapor the heavy elements like iron nickel formed the core of the earth the core of the earth was formed by these heavier elements uv rays that is the ultraviolet rays they were the main source of energy that time and this uv rays favored photochemical reactions which uh, when uh, all the chemical reactions which were uh, going on were favored all by these uv rays one very important thing you must have noted that while i was talking about the gases i did not mention oxygen so there was no molecular oxygen present at that time very very important point on which questions are asked and as you know that whenever molecular oxygen or uh, oxygen is not present the condition is reducing so the condition or the atmosphere was a reducing atmosphere no oxidation was taking place at that point of time electric discharges were there which were produced these electric discharges mainly came uh, due to this lightning and thunders volcanic eruptions huge and many volcanic eruptions were there at that time when life originated on earth let us now go to the next slide children now let us start with the theories the actual theories which were given by different uh, scientists uh, on the origin of life so the first one which was given was a theory of special creation this theory was actually based on religious beliefs it was believed that god created life in heaven and those or the life which was created in, in heaven those living forms were placed on earth now to understand this theory of special creation let us take a couple of examples according to bible there is a chapter in bible called genesis and this chapter deals with uh, origin of life on earth okay so according to this chapter the first man which was created or who was created was adam and the first woman who was created was eve i think all of you have heard of adam and eve isn't it now 
God created Adam and Eve and brought them on earth. This was the assumption given by the theory of special creation. The next example which we will deal with is according to Hindu mythology. Now what was told according to Hindu mythology? It was believed that Brahma is the creator of this universe. And Brahma created the first man and the name was of the first man was Manu. And the first woman who was uh, created was Shraddha. And according to these two beliefs, uh, that is according to Bible and Hindu mythology, that all these creations were made by God and then they were placed on earth which represented the first living form. But this was scientifically, there was no proof of all these things and then that, that is why these, this theory of uh, special creation was disapproved. Okay. The next theory which we will be dealing with is theory of abiogenesis. Now the term abiogenesis, uh, abio means non-living and genesis means synthesis or formation. So life originated according to this theory life originated from non-living things and this was uh, this theory was uh, proposed by Van Helmont. Now uh, if you want to understand this theory let me again take some examples like uh, some of the scientists that time or Greek philosophers rather that time who were present like Thales and uh, Xenophanes uh, they were present Aristotle to Plato they told that uh, Egypt, in Egypt, the mud of Nile, that is the Nile River, the mud from there, that river created many organisms like frogs, toads, snakes, mice and even crocodiles, they thought. When it was warm, that water on the mud was warmed by sun. Also, some assumptions were made uh, by the philosophers that time that the hair from the white horse, tail of white horse, gave rise to a worm which was known as Gordius worm okay and that worm is considered as the first living organism so these were all uh, very uh, obsolete uh, theories which were or examples which were given that time and there was no scientific proof and hence this was also disapproved and these uh, this uh, abiogenesis theory of abiogenesis was disapproved by uh, certain experiments performed by uh, scientists like uh, Francisco Reddy uh, Spallanzani and Pasteur also. So, we will go to the next theory that is the theory of biogenesis. This theory, according to this theory, it was told that life can arise from pre-existing life only and not from non-living matter. So, this was the theory of biogenesis which told this and this was proved by the experiments of certain scientists who experiments will deal with or will discuss uh, about those first one is was done by francisco reddy so Fra what francisco reddy told all about this experiment what which he performed now what francisco reddy did was he took flesh or meat and he cooked the meat so that no organisms were left alive in that piece of pieces of meat now he placed those pieces of meat in three different jars. The jars, one of the jars were covered uh, with gauze or parchment paper, uh, you can say, one or muslin cloth and one was sealed and the other was open. So these three jars were there. What Reddy saw was that within a few days, flies were uh, hovering around this these jars and after that he saw that in the open jar in the open jar he saw some maggots maggots means larvae of flies the larva of the flies so he concluded that the flies which were moving or visited that jar laid the eggs on the meat and hence the larvae or the maggots came into this flesh. 
but the other two jars which were covered that is one with the gauze and what uh, one which was sealed there was no development of any maggots or any life there so what was proved was that life can only exist from the pre-existing life or life can arise from the pre-existing uh, pre-existing life which was the flies here okay so this was the reddy's experiment to prove the theory of biogenesis let us go to the next slide next slide so experiment is of pasture that is the lewish pasture form this experiment this experiment is also known as the swan neck class experiment why this was uh, the name given because you here you can see that uh, pasture took some round bottom flask and then he heated this uh, mouth of the flask and then bent it in the form of the neck of a swan and hence the name swan neck experiment now what did pasture do louis pasture took a uh, broth uh, which was broth means a liquid made up of sugar and yeast in a long uh, necked flask and then bent the neck of the flask and then sealed it he boiled this broth in the flask why did he boil this to kill any microorganisms okay which might be present in that broth the curved neck acted as a filter and it was also sealed now what was done it was seen that if this swan neck flask or the curved uh, flask uh, was kept months without disturbing it or anything no life appeared there in the flask but when this neck of the flask was broken it was seen that that in the broth developed colonies of molds and bacteria so what was proved that due to the swan necked uh, shape of the flask the it acted acted as a filter and did not allow the spores of the or the back of bacteria and molds to enter into the flask but as soon as it was broken all the molds and uh, the spores of the molds and bacteria which were present in the air entered into the round neck neck uh, this uh, flask the broth which was present there and these microorganisms developed there so this was again a proof that the broth is did not favored any uh, means uh, life to occur originate there but as soon as the mouth was broken of the flask from the air spores entered and hence microorganisms originated so what was seen here is that life existed or was created from a pre existing form and not from a non living thing but according to biogenesis theory life originated from pre existing life it was told but it does not explain anything about the origin of life nothing was told about the origin of life so this uh, theory was also disapproved some more uh, theories were given by uh, uh, the scientists that time like the uh, theory of uh, panspermia what was told in this uh, theory of panspermia was that that uh, life originated from some extraterrestrial uh, life that is uh, uh, life originated in the outer space and the spores were brought into the earth from um, means other planets along with these meteors and the spaceships okay and uh, th how this is how the life originated in the earth okay so this were some of the other theories which were also given so after this we will take up the actual theory of origin of life that is the modern theory which is also known as uh, the uh, uh, chemosynthetic theory of origin of life uh, which was uh, proposed by oparin and haldane so we will take up that in the next videos now uh, children this is all for today's class i'll be back soon with a next class please go through the theories nicely and understand each and every theory take help of the uh, theory books which are available with you all and i'll be back soon okay thank you very much